Hi, this is Brian Eisenberg, and today I'd like to share with you how to catch up to and compete with Amazon.com. I'm going to show you specifically, looking at some of Amazon's category uh, and product pages, some of the available features that they're leveraging on their platform that can now be outsourced by some of the fantastic big data platforms that are out there today. Um, if you read my article, E-commerce Moneyball, these are some of the tools you're going to need in order to be able to, to uh, compete effectively with an organization like Amazon.com. So imagine uh, you did a search, and I'm going to do a hypothetical search for Little League Bats. Uh, my son loves to play baseball. Um, I do a quick search, um, just quickly looking to see what's available, and I find here an ad for Amazon, and it blows up. Now, this is an ad that could have been generated by something like a data pop. Uh, what data pop is doing is it's using um, all kinds of unstructured and structured data um, to figure out what kind of ads it should have, and it's dynamically creating and optimizing the ads for you uh, in order to get people to click better to, to, for your campaigns to work more effectively. So something like Datapop could generate ads for you at the scale that you may need. Let's say you have you know, thousands of products and you want to keep finding and refining the best possible ad with the best value propositions and all that. Something like Datapop can help identify and create those ads for you. So now once you have the ad, uh, it would take you to a landing page. So here we are on their search results page. Now, one of the first things that may happen is, you know, you may use a tool like Monetate to test what features are on the page. Um, you know, what, what are you going to display first? What promotions you may have? Th th those kinds of things are going on here. Um, and Monetate is enabling companies like Amazon, who does over 200 tests at any given moment, to, to run, you know, dozens and dozens, if not hundreds of campaigns at any given time um, of you know, some targeting, targeting and testing. So really critical to, to be using a tool like Monetate for your testing purposes. As you keep looking at this page, you'll notice um, that Bizarre Voice, uh, which offers uh, review technology, uh, is, again, right there featured. We all know how important reviews are today in social commerce uh, is in, in the e-commerce space. Uh, you'll notice there's plenty of room uh, all over the place for reviews. So you, you've got to make sure you have that kind of features on your site. Uh, then you may notice that, you know, you may have not have actually had a page that dealt with youth baseball bats. Um, so what a tool like Bloomreach may do is it'll calculate, again, using structured and unstructured data, what some of the most important pages need to be generated for you. It'll create a page and show the right products in there, and it'll self-optimize and figure out what are the features and, 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 and products that should be on that page. Then, of course, you know, you want to make sure you've got the most relevant products on there, and you may use a tool like Real Relevance that knows your product catalog and be able to figure out um, what, are the, what are the most prominent uh, products that should be showing up on the page. And then, of course, you can use a tool like Runa on your category page, which will help figure out what offers are you going to be showing to your visitors. Um, do they see free shipping offers? Do they see uh, bundle prices? Do they see uh, any discounts or gift cards or anything like that that may show up with products? And you'll, you'll see a little bit more detail on this as we go through the product page. So let's say we're going to pick on this first bat, uh, and we get to the product page, and we're looking at the bat. Um, again, you may use a tool like Monitate to figure out, you know, do you want your products on the left side? Do you want multiple? Multiple product images. How do you lay out your sizes? Uh, what features are where? Uh, but if you look, and that's what that's what you use a monetate for. Again, all that the, that testing that you must have. But let's look at this page and understand. I'm going to be showing the page as we scroll through it. Amazon's pages go on for many, 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 many screens. I just want to show you kind of where the fold is because we know everything above the fold, obviously, is the most important part of the page. All the other stuff is very important as well for for the Amazon experience. But certainly, we want to spend a lot of time concentrating above the fold. So I just want to show you where that fold kind of lies on most screens. Um, of course, Bizarre Voice, you know, reviews. It's the second most important thing to the product page, right? After the title of the product, um, and obviously a product image, but the reviews are right there at the top. People need to see it, um, and you know, you'll know you eventually get the rest of the detailed information further down on, on, towards the bottom of the page. But again, seeing that information needs to be towards the top of the page. Um, as you keep looking at the page, you'll notice you know customers who bought this item also bought this following item, um, and you know those kind of bundles and things are actually shown uh, through using tools like Rich Relevance. Then, of course, you've got Runa. And what Runa is going to be doing is they're going to be deciding whether this is a product that should be offering you know, prime shipping or not prime shipping or free shipping or not uh, free shipping in your case. Um, 
it'll look at that bundle and it'll put together bundles as well, but it'll also figure out an optimal price to offer that bundle at. Um, and then of course, it'll also figure out what kind of offers you may have. And so for example, on this page is a free bait and baseball bat offer. Um, it'll decide whether you need to show an offer to somebody in order to convert them or not, always while preserving the max amount of margin because you don't necessarily want to give site-wide discounts or, or free shipping to everybody. You want to make sure you're getting it to the right people um, that need it in order to that, take that little extra step to convert. Now, as we keep scrolling down the page, and again, now we're looking at uh, a little bit below the fold where those uh, related items were, um, you'll notice here, um, again, monetate may be involved, moving pieces around, figuring out what order of the you know, product description should be where. Uh, Bloomreach will go ahead and they'll create these related searches or related items um, on the page uh, to create additional landing pages um, that will be relevant to your visitors. And so these will be uh, indexed in, search in, uh, you know, in, in the search engines for SEO purposes, as well as you, they could be used for search engine marketing purposes in PPC. Uh, and again, as additional information on a, a product detail page. Uh, then you can go ahead as we keep scrolling down even further. Here you'll notice again, Monotate may be involved testing different parts of the page. Uh, and of course, here's where we see all the review stuff. And again, all these customers who view this item also view these items. Um, this is uh, the part that rich relevance would play. Uh, and again, I just want to kind of summarize, you know, today we've talked about Monotate as your testing platform, Bizarre Voice as your review platform, rich relevance as your related product platform, Runa as your platform for optimizing your offers, giving the, giving the customer the perfect offer. Uh, and of course, Bloomreach was going to create all these great pages for you uh, in order to uh, get indexed. Um, and as well as Datapop, which is not part of the pages, but could generate those ads that draw the people into your search engine marketing. So I want marketers to remember one thing um, out of this whole presentation. It used to be said, you know, direct marketing was the money is in the list. But I think that is not necessarily the truth anymore. Of course, you still want to have a great email list and all that. Um, but today, I think the new model that we need to live by is the money is in the data. So if you can leverage tools like dip big data, or if you can get good at the, even the small data with web analytics and take action on it, the advantages of some of these tools, they actually perform the actions for you. They have automated robots that, that do the tech, that do everything a person would do for you, and they do it at scale that you can never do. And this is what's going to help you become competitive with the likes of Amazon.com. Thank you very much.